Hey everybody, Mr. T Vintage here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the second half of a music t-shirt collection I bought here in Vancouver. Before we get started, if you haven't already, I would highly recommend you go back and watch part one. In that video, I explain how I came across these shirts and show some real grails. The second half of the collection does not disappoint, so let's get right into it. For our first shirt, we have a Thunder Sportswear size large biker tee, nice big print of the Grim Reaper here on the front. Now Thunder Sportswear, known for their all over print Thunder tees, but do they all have foxy ladies on them? Foxy. Next up, we have a ZZ Top, 1990 Recycler Chopped Tour t-shirt. It has the nice big tour date graphic here on the back. I like the neon at the top. This was for the Canadian and West Coast run of the tour. And as I've said before, my favorite kind of t-shirts are the ones that have Vancouver written on them. And luckily this one has Vancouver as the first stop. For our third shirt, we have a 1990 The Church promo. It is a nice large size on the Screen Stars tag. On the front here, we have the band members with some scenery. And on the back, we have the Gold Afternoon Fix promo album hit here. Overall, pretty good shirt. Next, we have this 80s The Who shirt. Nice graphic here on the front with the whole band. Now The Who were on the cutting edge of rock and roll in their time. And honestly, this is a shirt that shows the times as well. Uh, it is tagged a large, yet fits more like a small. But that's one interesting thing I find with these 80s tees is they come in all shapes and sizes. Our next shirt isn't quite vintage yet, but it is still a banger. We have this 2003 Freddy vs. Jason movie promo with the Planet Hollywood horror series hit on the sleeve. Now, Freddy vs. Jason pits together the two biggest slasher franchises, and this shirt is perfect for any Friday the 13th or Nightmare on Elm Street fan. Next, we have a Pink Floyd The Wall promo, 80s single stitch all around. Now Pink Floyd The Wall, rock, opera, concept album, movie. Uh, something interesting about this particular shirt is I believe it is one of the movie promo t-shirts as a lot of the concert ones and album ones actually have Pink Floyd up here in the corner with the face but the movie poster has Pink Floyd the wall written like this so still not a hundred percent sure but I'm pretty confident. Now for the last batch of shirts these are the real grails of the collection so getting started we have a European tour Slayer shirt nice colorful faded graphic here on the front single stitch all around slayer logo slayer skull guitar going through the stall unfortunately no back print but as far as like simple early 80s slayer tees goes this one really kicks ass for our second grail here we have a slayer slaytanic world sacrifice tour 1989 now this shirt is just a beauty to look at. We have the nice bold red here on the front, the badass skull here as well. And if you thought it was over, we have the bold red making a comeback here on the back. Now this tour was to promote their album Seasons in the Abyss. It's got some great dates on here, Berlin, Munich, Brussels, and to be at one of these concerts must have been pretty wild. For the second to last one, this one's a beauty as well. It is a UK Rain in Blood 
tour t-shirt nice uk tour dates on the back nice bold graphic of the whole entire band now this was to promote their album rain and blood at this point slayer had signed to def jam records and had recorded rain and blood with rick rubin so this is again a great slayer shirt for any slayer fan this is this is a really one of few now for our final shirt of the entire collection we have the holy grail of the whole collection it is this 1984-85 slayer live undead promo t-shirt as far as my research has taken me uh, this shirt came from one of six very early Canadian shows that Slayer did. Another thing that makes this shirt so special is it's a white shirt. Uh, every other Slayer shirt that I've shown is black, which became the standard. For how old this shirt is as well, it is in pristine condition. No holes, no stains. Single stitch made in Canada on the Watson's tag. Uh, the original owner must have been a really big Slayer fan because he kept it in perfect condition. The grail of the video is by far the early Slayer Live Undead promo t-shirt. It is the grail of the entire collection and is probably one of my favorite band t-shirts I've ever been able to get my hands on. I was really excited to get my hands on this collection and really happy to be able to show you guys. So leave a like and comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe as I will be doing a 200 subscriber giveaway. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.